Hey there guys, Laser Game Dev here, and we're gonna have the second episode of the quick Reddit replies. And funny enough, it's the same person who asked the previous question in episode one, and it's even the same question, but it's worded in a, in a different way, and it it kind of brings a different image into your mind, and that's what people have answered in the comments. Now we now know that the person wanted it in the direction of the camera more than the actual what he asked originally, which was how do I do it. Um, in the direction of where the mouse is pointing, which isn't the way Unreal sees it. I, I understand what they mean, but I figured, hey, why don't I actually just do a quick one for actually where the mouse is? So if you were doing a Diablo type game, you know, top down, and you want your cursor to be where you're where you're shooting something. So we'll have a quick look at that. So I, all I have right now is the fresh top-down character and I've made a projectile. It's literally just a ball that goes off in, in a direction. So let's make a new graph and we'll have a look and we'll say, well, I'll just put it on input. You can obviously spawn it however you like. Let's do the left mouse button and let's spawn actor from class and we'll put that projectile in there. Okay. And spawn transform, I want to make a quick location. I'm just going to make an empty scene component and do it like that. You probably want to do this differently, like on an actor's hand or something, make a socket in the mesh. There are loads of ways you can do it. As long as you have a location, this should work fine. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to split the spawn transform. I'm going to get location, get world location, and pop that in there. And for the rotation, we want to get player controller. We want to get hit result under cursor. And you can do this in lots of different ways. The, the usual one is by channel. And we want to do it by visibility. Usually uh, you may have much more complicated setup and have different trace, trace channels and things, but this is, this is the general kind of go to, and we're going to break the hit result. And we are going to get the location and make rotation. Uh, no, sorry, I'm getting this wrong. We're going to get the world location from here and uh, we're going to need a look at, find a look at rotation. So the start is going to be where you've spawned it and the target is going to be the location. And then you want to return this, but we don't actually want to return this because we don't want it to fire at the floor. What we want to do is we want to split this and we're going to use the X and the Z. We don't want to use the Y because that's going to make it go up or down. And we, we, we basically just want it to, to go straight. So I believe that should work. If I go into play and I left click, then we're just going to move because of course that's how that works. So we'll just change this real quick. Uh, right mouse button. Okay, there we go. So that is us spawning that projectile and it's always going where we have the mouse pointed. Obviously you would have nice animations and things. Um, but yeah, this is basically going to be how you want to do that. And probably not have the thing <laughs> collide with your character as well. But there you are guys, that's how you're going to get uh, like a fireball ability or something in like a, a a Diablo-esque game to always go in the direction you want. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. Have a good day.